In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a wheel stud. Just in case you stripped it or damaged it some way. I'll show you how to remove it and insert a new stud. Right here is the hub that's connected to an axle on a rear wheel drive vehicle. I have removed so you get a better view. Now in order to get to some of these hubs, usually on the front brakes of a vehicle you'll have to remove the brake caliper, the disc brakes, the brake housing, the rotor, and then there's the hub. And on drum brakes you'll have to remove well, the drum, well, the tire, you know, jack it up, securely support it on jack stands, remove the tire, remove the drum, and you might get away without removing the disc brakes. Depends on the vehicle. Vehicles are different, so some of them you'll have to remove the hub, some of them you'll have to remove a, uh, a wheel cylinder, so forth and so on. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to remove a wheel stud. Now to remove a wheel stud, make sure there's nothing behind it when you beat on it that it does not damage anything as you're beating it out. But it's pretty easy. You just take your heavy duty hammer I don't recommend a carpentry hammer. This is a dead blow. A dead blow hammer has uh, little metal balls inside that absorbs the impact when you hit metal and gives it more of a, a blunt force. So here we go. Just hit the stud. Comes out easy like that. Now the ones I got the axle kit had two different sizes. Naturally, I used the right size on the uh, other axle, so I'm going to use this one for demonstration purposes. So, for that long one, we'll put through like so. Now we're going to need shims, probably about that much, and then we're going to use a lug nut, an old one, and a washer to help pull it through. Alright, got the wheel stud in there. We're going to use this nut, which is bigger than the stud itself, to use it as a spacer. The reason why we need a spacer is because when you get to a certain point, your, your lug nut's not going to go past those threaded areas. It's going to stop right there and then it'll be stuck like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to use that to take up all that space. You'll see once I proceed. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a washer at both ends. Pull a washer on this side. Put a washer on this side. And I already have a washer that I used before. Now, like I said, you're going to use a lug nut. Use one that you're not going to use ever again. Because most likely, this is going to get destroyed. Now we're in like so. We might get lucky and not have to hold it in the back. If that's the case, you give a little tap in the back, but like I said, each situation is different. You're not going to be able to get behind her with a hammer, so you're going to have to figure that part out. So usually, all, most cars are different, so some can be stubborn. So, let me get the right angle here, so you guys can see. Let's zoom you in. No. Do it like so. turn
you won't have that problem because I'm sure you'll have it in park or something. I just have it in a vise that does it clamp down that tight. You can consider this a blooper. All right, let's finish pulling it through. Keep going until it's seated. Keep a little bit more. I bottomed out. It puts a little lip on the end there. You might be able to reuse that. But it wouldn't hurt just to replace it. They're only, what, two, three bucks, something like that. A dollar, or maybe you just have one laying around. All right, give it a little tap. Don't mess your new threads. Oh, the washer's off. Seat it in the back. All right, easy as that. Any questions or concerns, please comment below. If this video was helpful at all, please hit the like button and please share. Thanks for watching.